Okay. Here we go. Again. I think I think somebody. Somebody somewhere somehow might agree with me on this one. I think I really think I re, I'm starting to believe that let me turn this down. That's too loud. I think that somebody might agree with me. At least one person about about one person might agree that I'm a victim of verbal abuse. Verbal you know, have you ever heard, there's a lot of types of abuse, but have you ever heard of verbal abuse? Verbal, like people verbally abusing? So in other words, you know, I think I'm a victim of verbal abuse. Because I'm very, ver I'm, I don't think, I think this was something I was taught. I don't think this is... I don't. I think anybody would agree that this is not natural to me at all. I think anybody would agree. They're like, dude, you're 44 years old. Okay. I'm like, well, I might be amongst a person or an individual that's very verbally abusive, and some other individual might say, yeah. You're probably a victim of verbal abuse yourself. Now, ain't, ain't you kind of old to be dealing with this type of verbal abuse? I'm like, well, at this point, I think we're all victims of a lot of people. People that ain't verbally abusive, I think became victims of people that are verbally abusive. A lot of people became victims of verbal abuse. Okay, so I've been trying to take my time to put my, I really can't really put a conversation together or a story and I really don't know how to talk for long. So the words I do say, I try to make it more with what I say with manners and responsibility. I don't really say too much, but I like, when I do talk to people, I like to keep it short and simple. And, you know, trying to get away, like take, get that verbal abusive, like mentality out of me when I have people in my presence. And I try to say things that are, you know, with responsibility. Have a little, have, have a little bit of manners and responsibility, and a little bit you say than have just be verbally abusive with everything you say. So, sometimes it's, you know, if you don't have many people to talk to, and you only talk to cer so many certain people every month or every six months or every year, try to be. Mind your manners every, and be responsible with the li just the little bit you have to say. Because these days, people are just, they're all about that verbal abuse. And some of the people that I got to talk to, um, I, would, I wouldn't get away. I would not even get away at all with saying any of that stuff other people say to each other. I couldn't, I wouldn't, the people, people I gotta be around, I, I can't, I can't talk like that. I'm not allowed to use that type of language. So, but, um, it has become, mm, 
You know, in other words, I'm, I'm a victim of verbal abuse, so you know what that means, right? Victims usually become the criminals. People, victims of crime usually commit crimes. People that verbally abuse people causes people to commit crime because they just had enough and they're ready to verbally assault people. Like verbally assault people. And that's the only way, that's their only tool and method of you know that type of war or battle or conflict people that are too they're out of pocket and they're messy and they're re reckless with their verbal abuse so you know sometimes being reckless and messy and out of pocket with verbal abuse can get you into more trouble than what you want to be in. A lot more trouble than what you want to be in. Trying to be verbally abusive. That can get you into more trouble than you want to be in. It don't matter. The fact of the matter is, if you're verbally, if you're verbally abusive, that leads me to tell me one thing, that no matter what other type of lifestyle you live, if you have verbal, verbal abuse in your language, you can be held accountable for your verbal abuse to other than your other lifestyles you live. But just remember that verbal abuse is verbal abuse. And that's all it is. And if you're, if you're, uh, well, I, I'm verbally abusive, but not all the time. Well, you're still using the tactics of verbal abuse, which at this point, Verbal abuse is just verbal abuse. It don't matter. But yeah, but I don't do it much, though. So? A lot of people shouldn't be verbally abusive at all. But they are. And there you go. People shouldn't, shouldn't have to deal with pe anybody. If you're not verbally abusive, you shouldn't have to deal with verbally abusive people at all. If you're if you're if you're being nice and you're you know you're you're minding your manners and you're being responsible, you shouldn't have to deal with people and their verbal abuse at all. For any reason. They're just their tactic is verbal abuse and that's all it is. That's all verbal abuse is. That's all it is. That's all it all verbal abuse amounts to it's the equivalent of verbal abuse. You can't add or take away from verbal. Verbal abuse is just, that's all it is. That's all it is. That's all verbal abuse is. It's just verbal abuse. That's all it is. There, is no, there ain't anything special about verbal abuse at all. Verbal abuse is no good for anybody, even the people that are using it. Just remember, after I shut this video off and, and put it out there, that if you people choose to use verbal abuse, if that's your only tactic is verbal abuse, you will only be known... For, for being verbally abusive. That's that's all you will be known for by everybody.